Well, we hope you're enjoying everything that's coming from World of Concrete 2012 because we enjoy bringing it to you. I got a gentleman here with me now, and for those of you who have been uh, longtime viewers of 4constructionpros.com, I'm sure you'll recognize Fred Oswald, who is with Oztech Industries, and we did a walk around and a preview of one of your unique pieces of equipment, with, which is a, a, a rebar vibrator. Exactly. And we did this, oh, a couple of three years ago, I yes. think. Isn't that right? Yes. It, it was at least that. <clears throat> well, tell me, how's business been? Going well? Business has been doing well because we sort of specialize in heavier concrete structures where you do need more power okay. and where it's not easier with the uh, close approxim approxim proximity of uh, heavy duty rebars to get the vibrators between them. All right. With the uh, rebar shaker, the rebars when they're vibrated, 10 or 12,000 vibrations per minute, which, by the way, is the natural frequency of concrete, and that's why it's important to get up to those speeds. So let's talk about some of the newer things that you, your company's been working on. What have you been focusing in on? One of the major things is to get better contact of the concrete vibrator. Right to the concrete itself, the mass of concrete. And that works well with our new, relatively new, rubber-covered uh, head, which has holes in it to let wet concrete go through and cool the inside. Okay. To, uh, it's a patented situation, and it does work very well. As a matter of fact, it, it was designed to protect the epoxy-coated rebar that's supposed to prevent or uh, uh, retard rusting. Right. Uh, however, if you hit it with a hard steel, if you if you touch it with a hard steel vibrator, it can crack or break the uh, epoxy coating. The epoxy coating. that's been coated over there. Exactly. Right. And you'll end up with uh, holes and this. Uh, Which of course defeats the purpose of the epoxy. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So. This, this covering has, as you say, is rubber? Well, it's your, usually a urethane or, right. a, uh, or, or an epoxy. Different materials that are uh, going to subject, prevent it from being subjected by the uh, uh, salt waters or whatever that have a tendency to corrode it. All depending on what its application is exactly. used. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, we found that not only does the rubber covering protect the steel inside the, re, the rebar, but that it's a lot more effective. It, it consolidates better, it sends out shock waves further, and really puts the whole vibrator head in a different league of, of uh, productivity. It's something that uh, we, at first, we, we couldn't understand why it should be better. <laughs> in other words, it did what we uh, expected it to do. Right. But usually something will kind of trail off a bit. In this case, it was uh, a, a plus plus in both ways. More effective, more protective, and uh, actually it, it was uh, uh, easier to work with. It was lighter and heavy enough to sink into the concrete, but what allowed the, uh, the eccentrics that, that form the, uh, the, the shock waves to be more effective because the urethane is one sixth the density of steel and the steel can be thinner because it's being protected sure. by the outside as well as what it hits. So that that uh, turned out to be a good thing for us, and we're constantly working to uh, study it more and use what we find to uh, produce samples that we can have the contractor demonstrate. Well, as I recall, and we've talked earlier, you have a fairly large research and development operation to, to carry these products forward and find new applications for them, and particularly helping out the contractor industry? Well, that's our goal, to help out the contractor to do work faster, better, 
with higher quality concrete, less voids, and uh, good uniform consolidation. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I, I would modestly say that we've been very successful in, in that endeavor. Uh, we have other situations we're working on now, which, which I quite sure this year will, will be uh, ready to put on a market and will be something to, uh, to be worthwhile for the contractor to try. Uh, talk is cheap, <laughs> an old, old saying. That's right. But what really counts is that if a contractor can use it and, it works. and, and be very pleased with the results, that's right. with all aspects of it, that's how you move ahead. That's right. And that's what keeps you moving ahead. No question it, about it, it. It makes what you do more fun. Well, we'll be looking forward to those new products as we go along. Well. And I'm pleased that you stopped by. Fred Oswald with Oztech Industries. And certainly you're in the North Hall, I believe? North Hall, North yes. Hall at the convention center. And certainly they can find them online, oztechindustries.com. 20, 2324. 2324 North Hall. Yes. So stop by, see Mr. Oswald and the nice folks at Oztech Industries because if you're in this business and that's what your need is, these are the people to talk to. We'll be right back. It's coreconstructionpros.com live stream moves along.